Hi folks, today I'm going to do a lesson on Rory Gallagher Lone Shark Blues. So there's only a couple of uh, riffs in the song and then at the end some slide solo stuff. Okay, so we're in the key of B, we've got the capo on the second fret, standard tuning. And the riff starts, uh, so I'm just going to talk in terms of if that was the, the nut, okay. So if I say an A chord, you know it's it's actually a B with the cap on, okay? But I'll just say that and refer to the frets that way as well. So that would be like a third fret when I say that, okay? <coughs> so, A chord. And we're palm muting as well. Just a, a nice light palm mute down. Okay? So A chord. Then third fret on the A. Two more A's. Third fret on the E string. Okay. Then two A's again, two A chords. Uh, twice on the third fret. And two more A chords again. And then to the third fret on the E again. And you can kind of uh, slightly bend the third fret on the A string. A chord, E major, actually after the A chord there's a little riff, so twice in the A chord and then third fret hammer to the fourth on the A string, second fret on the D, fourth fret on the D. E major chord, and then you can do another riff he does sometimes after he plays the E. The same thing, except uh, you're just uh, going to the, the E chord afterwards. Either a single note or the, the fifth, the power chord. So and then we're at a F sharp minor chord. E major to A. So that's uh, all the riffs. There's just those two uh, two parts to the song, really. It's just the way they build the song with the dynamics and the solos and stuff. It's it's really cool. Great great um great songwriting. Being able to milk just two parts for for that long, you know. Um. Okay, so that's Lone Shark Blues by Rory Gallagher. And uh, yeah, we'll catch you again soon for a new one.